Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Meredith, and if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe down below. I'm gonna be posting a lot of new videos lately because today was my first day of school, and I have a lot of college day in my life videos slash sorority recruitment videos coming up. So hit the bell notification so you get notified every single time that I post a video. But for today's video, I'm going to be filming a updated how I edit my Instagram photos. So I say an updated how I edit my Instagram photos video because I posted one last summer, but within the last year, the way I edit my Instagram photos has changed so much. I'm actually using a preset now, which I'm pretty sure in my last video I swore I would never do, but my friend Olivia Rancourt came out with some cute new presets and I started using them. So this video is actually a collaboration with her and her blog because she has a blog and created some presets that you could find on that blog. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I edit my my photos using her presets then just keep watching okay so getting started I only really use two apps to edit my Instagram pictures and those are Facetune and Lightroom so first I'll do Facetune and I'll just pull up the picture that I'm going to be editing and the feature that I normally do first is the smoothing feature and with the smooth feature, I smooth out my skin and my armpit fat because I know armpit fat is something that everyone has, but I just think it's so gross. So I always smooth out my arms because I have eczema and sometimes I'll smooth around my face because if I have a blemish or something. And then I'll go in with the details tool and I'll enhance any details. So here I'm doing the mountains, the clouds, and then I always go in and I do my hair just to add a little bit of dimension. And if I'm wearing sunglasses, I'll do those too. And sometimes my lips if I don't think they're popping enough. And then just other things on my outfits like my bracelets and my bag if I feel like those have cute details that I want enhanced. So the next tool I used was the refine tool, which is kind of funny because these pants were wide leg pants. And when I was editing, I realized that one leg was just kind of falling flat while the other was like very voluminous. So I actually edited the flat leg to look bigger because I thought it looked weird that one leg was just flat and then the other was nice and wide so I did that and then I'm going in with the patch tool to edit this awkward shadow on my knee because there was like two dots from the sun so I just used the patch tool to match it to my pant because I just thought the dots were kind of weird so once I'm done editing the picture I will use the before and after tool to see if there's anything that I missed and if there's not I will save the picture and move into Lightroom Okay, so once I get into Lightroom and upload the picture that I'm going to be editing, the very first thing that I do is apply a preset, which a preset is definitely the thing that changed the game for my Instagram. These are the four that I use. I kind of use them for different reasons, but Blogger and Preppy are definitely my two favorites. And all these presets are done by my friend Olivia Rancourt. I'll be giving a little snippet at the end about how to get these for yourself. But on this picture I'm using Blogger and the first thing that I normally do is adjust the green because there's a little bit of green pulling on it and I adjust that to pink and then just making minor edits to the exposure and the shadows and I always turn down the highlights more so you can see more of the mountains but other than that I don't normally play around with blogger too much because it's pretty perfect to my style I'll normally check it out a couple of times and make sure that it looks the way I want it to adjust it a little bit and then I'll save it Okay, so I'm going back to Facetune to start editing the second picture. For this picture, I'm just going to be using the whitening tool because I just wanted to whiten the buildings a little bit. So I'm going to do an overall big whitening and then I'll go in with the eraser and erase anything that I overdid or anything that I don't want to be white. For instance, there was a couple like blue doors and blue pools that I'm going to be erasing because I want the blues to stand out in this picture.
After I saved it from Facetune, I uploaded it into Lightroom and applied the preset. I was going back and forth for a little bit over Blogger and Blondie because I loved the way that the blues looked with the Blondie preset, but at the end of the day I kind of wanted it to look really realistic so I ended up going with Blogger after I adjusted it a little bit. Again, the adjustments that I normally make with Blogger is I turn up or down um, the temperature of the picture depending on how yellow it's looking and I always turn up the tint from green to a little bit pinkier. Sometimes um, I mess with the colors a little bit. I think I might have enhanced the blue a little bit on this one. I always turn down the highlights. Sometimes I turn up the shadows if I feel like that helps and in this case I did turn up the white a little bit because the majority of the picture was white. Okay, now that that one's all set, I'm going to be heading back to Facetune to edit the third and final picture that I have for you guys today. And this picture was kind of hard to edit because I was in the shadows and it was really dark, so it was a little more complicated. But here in Facetune, I'm starting with the smooth tool, smoothing out my legs because I have some scars from an allergic reaction that I had a couple years ago. And then again, just my arms, my armpit fat, and I think I did a little around my neck too. Then I'm going in with a whitening tool to whiten my teeth a little bit. Okay, next I'm going in with the details feature. I think this is my favorite feature because I like how it just enhances everything to look a little bit better. So I did the little tie on my bathing suit. I think I did my lips too to make those pop a little more. Always do my sunglasses and my hair. And then I did my bracelets and I think I did, yep, my drink as well. I don't know why I did that. I think it just made it look a little cooler and more distinct. And then now I'm editing this little reflection on my leg from my glass because I just think it's a little awkward looking. So I'm covering that up using the patch tool. The last thing that I'm fixing is this little wet mark on the bed from my drink when I set it down. It's really easy to fix using the patch tool, and I think it's just a little detail that made a nice difference. Okay, I'm heading back into Lightroom to apply the preset to this last picture. I think I went back and forth between Blogger and Preppy on this one and ultimately decided Preppy, which is kind of funny because for my personal page, I normally use Blogger. And then for Yumain Alpha Fee, which is another Instagram account that I manage, I always use Preppy for their pictures. And then I also help manage the Blush Bangor account and I always use Doodle for those pictures. So these presets by Olivia Rancor are really great because they're so versatile and they're adjustable. So it's very cohesive, but they're not the exact same and you can really adjust it to each picture. And then it's nice if you're running a couple accounts or you want to go for different looks throughout the year. Like I think I'll be transitioning more into the Doodle preset once winter comes because it's a little bluer and whiter. So it's just nice to be able to adjust them and have such a variety to choose from. So after I edit this picture, I'll show you guys how to get the presets from her. Okay, now that I'm done with this one, I'll just kind of show you guys the before and after. Obviously, it's much brighter, warmer, way better than the original photo. And then this one's just a little more crisp and bright and airy. And this last one didn't change too much. It just kind of enhanced um, the natural colors. Okay, now I will show you guys how to get these presets for yourself. So go to Olivia Rancourt's Instagram and click the link in her bio that will bring you to her blog. And scroll all the way to the bottom and click Presets. Okay, once that page pops up, you're able to choose which presets you'd like to order. The ones that I use most often are Blondie, Blogger, Preppy, and Doodle, but she also offers one called Alpha that's a little more colorful. And like I said before, I really think that presets are what changed the game for my Instagram, 
So if you like the looks of my Instagram and that's why you're watching this video, I totally recommend using her presets because $5 is so cheap for a preset and I have a discount code with her that gets you guys 20% off. So once you click on the preset, you can read a little about it, see what it's like, and then once you go to pay, apply my coupon code, which is MARE20, capital M-E-R-E, 20, and that will take 20% off your order. If you guys have any questions about how to use these presets, I definitely recommend checking out the preset highlight on Olivia's Instagram. She has a lot of information on here about how she created the presets, how to adjust them, and she has a ton of before and after pictures, which is really helpful when choosing which presets you want to order. And then if you have any questions about how to download the presets themselves, I'll be putting a link in the description box of this video that shows you how to download the presets to Lightroom. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you liked learning about how I edit my Instagram photos. And if you did, you can let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Also, down below in the description box, I will have all the information that you need to get the presets. So I will have the link to Olivia's blog to get the presets and then the code that gives you the discount for the presets. And then I think I will be linking another video, probably another YouTube video about how to download the presets onto Lightroom because I know that's kind of confusing. But basically, like I said, it kind of goes through the email and then in the email, you'll hit copy to Lightroom and then it'll just take you directly to Lightroom. It's a free app and um, you'll just have to copy and paste and create the preset on your own. But yeah, like I said, I will have a video kind of showing you guys how to do that in the description box below. But if you have any other questions that I haven't answered in today's video, please leave them down below in the comment section. I will be sure to answer them. But with that being said, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.